A little over two weeks ago, I published a video on this channel explaining the basics of Elon Musk's Boring Company, a relatively new startup which wants to change the way we travel in and around cities by creating a series of network tunnels underground, complete with specially designed, electrically propelled car carriers that will take you and your car from one part of town to the other with zero emissions and zero traffic jams. For the most part, you all seem pretty keen about the idea and were excited to see what Musk's latest company could achieve. Of those less positive responses, some of you were a little concerned about the practicalities of drilling the holes in geographically unstable areas, while others were concerned about the price of construction. Even a few said they doubted the boring company could achieve its goals at all. Drilling machine first, a standard massive tunnel boring machine, TBM, the kind that's used around the world to cut massive tunnels into the earth where drilling and blasting tunnel construction methods would be uneconomical or physically impossible. The TBM now owned by the boring company works just like any other TBM. It slowly grinds away rock at the business end of the machine using its massive rotating cussing disc and feeds the resulting rubble and spoil back through the machine itself and out the other end for processing. At the same time as it pulls itself through the tunnel, the TBM installs tunnel walls to ensure the tunnel doesn't collapse. It's a long, slow process that results in about 300 feet of tunnel, 94 meters, per week being constructed. As Musk detailed during his TED interview at the start of this month, however, that's not fast enough for the boring company to deliver on its promise of revolutionizing the tunnel industry. So Musk has plans to increase the company's TBM called Godot, to gouge out one mile of tunnels per week. That's 1.6 kilometers. But enough of the tunnel construction. That is, after all, a bit boring. <laughs> Sorry, unless you happen to be a civil engineer, it really is. No, what you want to know about is the fancy all-electric sled that Musk's team have developed to whisk you in your car across town at speeds of up to 125 miles per hour. That's 200 kph. Which is where Musk's latest Instagram video comes in. Posted over the weekend, this video shows what looks to be an aluminium sled sitting atop a monorail inside a tunnel. We see and hear the cradle begin to move, accompanied by the unmistakable hum of an electric motor. Zipping along the tunnel, the sled seems to reach pretty high speed in a very short time frame, slowing again very quickly as it reaches the end of the test track. While there's no confirmation where the test track was, I'm going to side with a supposition of Electrek that the sled demonstration shown wasn't taking place in the Boring Tunnel's new tunnel on SpaceX's lot, but rather in the test Hyperloop construction zone being also constructed on the SpaceX lot. The key indicators? Well, the size of the tunnel and the size of the sled. It's clear that the sled isn't very big at all by the comparative size of the metalwork and how it fills up the frame. Yes, it could be some crazy perspective trick, but honestly, this is most likely a working scale prototype. That and the fact that Godot is still undergoing final assembly on the SpaceX lot, and as such, isn't boring anything or anyone yet. But this crossover does allow something I've been thinking a lot about lately, namely the crossover between the Hyperloop and boring company ideas. I know I joked about it in the opening, about how Elon Musk does seem to have a thing for tunnels, but seriously, with Hyperloop and the boring company, it seems that Musk's vision of the future has us traveling through tunnels all the time. I should also point out here that the Boring Company's tunnels do seem to be a lot more plausible than the Hyperloop capsule at this time, simply because they don't require any of the complex air management systems and safety cutoffs that you'd need for supersonic in-tube travel. Instead, we're looking at automated sleds that travel through tunnels carrying cars at speeds already well and truly exceeded by passenger trains in both Europe and Asia. It's almost as if Musk was handed off the really tight Hyperloop stuff to another company to solve and opted for a more affordable, practical tunnel-based transportation system instead. Enough speculation, though. There's one more thing worth sharing from this week's disclosure before I wrap this up. The route that Musk said the boring company will operate. Using his usual favorite social media outlet, Twitter, Musk said that the first full-length tunnel will run from LAX to Culver City, Santa Monica, Westwood, and Sherman Oats, with the rest of the greater Los Angeles area getting coverage after that. 
Of course, there's no details as to if Musk has ever talked to the city officials about the idea, or if the state of California is willing to offer any kind of financial incentives to the fledgling company if it can help cut pollution, save time, and make LA more productive. I'd wager a guess, though, that there's some significant money there for the first company to make all of the above happen, which I'm sure does play a part in how the boring company is planning its first endeavours. What do you think of the boring company? Does the test video of the sled make you excited? Or does it leave you unconvinced of the future for this new transportation idea? And when, if ever, do you see the boring company's underground network entering service? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And of course, don't forget to help keep those wind turbines spinning by switching to New Zealand's only carbon zero certified renewable electricity company. Thanks for joining me. As always, I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield. And until next time, hug a tree. <laughs> Bye.